came in mean, probably played pretty well in the second period. I thought we looked like we ran out of gas and were skating and standing. The difference in the speed of the game between UNH and BU in the third period was like night and day. Uh, that coupled with the fact that they do real well on their power play, and especially the they do a good job killing penalties, they did a great job on their power play. And they get two face off calls. Uh, both exactly the same. There's one of the straight back, one of them goes to the point, one of them goes to the shooting on the slot. And uh, we, don't, we don't get a negative uh, or a neutral face off there. So it's that play about, by us. It looked like the referee threw it back to him. That was uh, the second one. Nothing we can do about that with our goal. And we should have had somebody in the line to walk the shot. So I was. Uh, I was disappointed in how unthorough we were. I was disappointed in how slow we were as the game progressed. Uh, we turned pucks over at blue lines. We, we had opportunities to make some plays, and we fumbled them. We, we were forcing pucks, and then we were just hanging on too long sometimes. And I thought the UNH helped out on us. As the game progressed, I thought they helped out on us. All in all, not a good show. Coach, you uh, talked earlier this week about when you're down five on four, one of the things you can't do is you can't take another penalty. I think you guys did that two or three times tonight. Uh, can you talk about what you saw as far as that is? Is that, is that starting to go on going problem? It's a pathetic problem. It's a pathetic problem. You don't get the message. It's not that important to them. But the fight is hard. Be tenacious without being stupid. I didn't see any of the calls. I don't know if some of them were. I thought the game was well worth the lead. Coach, what do you think accounted for your team wearing down? Is that, did they physically wear down, mentally wear down? I don't know. Benito was sick all day. And he looked at Trevino looked like he was very, very slow. He got it, you know. I don't think uh, Dave Wasowski is his first game back and his first game playing forward in a big rank. Uh, I thought Ferrer looked okay, but no way near the speed he usually gives us. I thought that we had a few guys, I thought Megan played extremely well tonight. He was sick for the last two days with a flu bug and uh, didn't practice at all. And came in, came in practice today and took a pretty game state inside and didn't play. We weren't sure until so we dressed him in the warm up and said he couldn't play. And I thought he was one of our best goals, if not our best goals. I thought that Shet and Kirk and Cohen gave us a good night, a very good night. I thought Shet and Kirk especially was moving the puck and a couple of turnovers we'd like to have back from those two guys, but generally we play pretty well. Uh, and we, we can't seem to recognize when people are taking up, taking away Chet and Kirk and Cohen on the point in the power play that we've got to get the puck down low. We keep forcing them up top and we're playing three on three on top instead of playing three on one down. We start to finish. I mean, obviously the game was uh, a good pace, but I thought we had good uh, speed, quickness, and special teams. We had some power plays. We killed penalties. So I was pleased with uh, the old overall effort, and Brian had made saves when he needed to, and he controlled it uh, when he got some opportunity. So, uh, but good team effort. Uh, I guess a good team. So I'm obviously uh, pleased. Coach, could you talk about the change? Um, did you did you change anything from the second to the third period? It looked like you guys did a much better job of not allowing Boston to first season. No, we didn't change anything. We just uh, whatever we were doing, we're just doing a better job in the neutral zone. Uh, how we were picking people up. Uh, we were losing, uh, losing that coverage a little bit, and we were, you know, late, late in the first, and uh, maybe for that matter, uh, early in the uh, in the second period. And they came out in the second period, and had, I'd say probably four or five shots right off the bat, got in our zone, and uh, you know, we weathered that little storm, and I uh, stayed with it, but played better deep, better turns of the game on. Coach, uh, Coach Parker mentioned that you guys really outworked the U.S. as the game went on. What do you think? I think it's uh, the confidence that we're playing with. Uh, it's something that uh, has been a focus of our, our team playing hard defensively, uh, you know, man to man uh, in our defensive zone, and uh, we've gotten better in that area. There's no question, and uh, we're playing solid hockey. So, coach, you mentioned getting better defensively. You came into a lot of four goal game, and it appeared you uh, it didn't look like you seen a lot of four goal games tonight, but a very good defensive game. No, we uh, you know, we've been, uh, you know, Brian, Brian Foss has been a little bit. Uh, uh, you know, chase his, his, his goals against because it often he takes the problem with his stats. Uh, and our team defense wasn't great. Our, our shot in wasn't great. We, you know, we've done a much better job in that area, and we're playing much better defensively from the beginning of the season to right now in our own end. Coach, you mentioned that you guys have a lot of 
So, and they can really handle the bottom of the offense and zone cutbacks. So they're a good team, so we, we handle that. So, that's good. Like, what was uh, clicking and working well for the clock last night? Yeah, the guys moved the clock. Uh, that's all about moving the clock, and, and they were moving it, and we had a couple of uh, pretty shots there. So, uh, we had a couple of other guys that each going up to the east that we put in, but we moved the clock off. Coach, can you talk about, for, for all the non league struggles you've had, you now, you're now tied for first in Hockey East. Uh, and, and actually, you're a few, you know, take away a few seconds and you'd be 5 1 and 1 in Hockey East. Can yeah, you talk about that? No, it's been a crazy season, and, uh, you know, and I told us uh, in, in my meetings within the league, we've done okay. We've played a tough schedule, non league, as maybe some other teams have, but uh, it makes you a better team. You know, we got a bunch of kicked out in Wisconsin, and uh, we played well against uh, Miami, and you know, we opened up against RPI at the beginning of the season. They are obviously a pretty good team, so uh, I think that all uh, adds to us getting better. Start getting some wins here in the league, so to me we had to put them away in the third, and that's what we did. So I think we played one of our better periods of the year, and just played smart, got pucks deep, and didn't give them a chance to get back into it. The special teams were obviously a big part tonight. Two power play goals, five kills. Is it that simple? If you guys get that done and get good goaltending, winning is a lot easier. Yeah, special teams is a huge part of the game now, and we're scoring power play goals and penalty kills doing the job. We're going to be up on top of most games, so. We can continue that with that success. It's what we're looking for. How about the timing of the two power play goals tonight? One Buffy puts you up to one, and then Gears kind of puts it away. Yeah, they, that's they were huge, both of them. Uh, Bobby must have lead there, I think, the second. And then mine just putting the game after away there at the end to Hank. Or, uh, Henry on Barry is first there. And we came back and just kind of put, it, put a nail on the coffin. What was it feeling like to get that uh, goal after getting initially stuffed there? And that was a great save of the ball. Yeah, it felt good to uh, put in the net and get us up. So uh, it was good to get the, get the team going. But uh, it felt obviously getting stuffed stinks, but getting another chance to put it in is always good. After the low game, Felipe said something like special teams and goals in this league are a good wins game. Yeah, it's true. It's definitely true. That's what. It's obviously defense wins championships, but along the way, it's it's uh it's special teams and goalies. Goalies wins win championships. So how big were the, the special teams tonight? Not only to get the, the two goals, but also to kill off that. Yeah, we killed off those penalties. It was huge. They didn't really get much going, so that was good. All all the penalty kill units did great tonight, so we're excited. Uh, we were tied this week in penalty kill, so we're just gonna continue it on to tomorrow. Similar situation too. Early in the third, you had a couple back to back, and, and this time you came through. Yeah, it's just just the team showing some good character tonight, and that's what we got. We got it done tonight. Coach was talking about a 60-minute effort. This is close this, to the guys to come. This is definitely a uh, close to 60-minute effort, which is proved we won 4-2, so it was good. Good to put 60 minutes together, and uh, we can definitely hang with anyone who played all 60 minutes. Earlier this week, you said that this could be the breakthrough game for you guys for the rest of the season. Is this the kind of game that you hoped for, expected? Yeah, it's the whole weekend, so we just got to play tomorrow. But tonight was a big win. Now we got to go to the air barn and uh, play as well as we did tonight. This, this weekend is definitely big. Is this something you have to lose now, but tomorrow? Yeah, definitely. We've got the two points right now, but we definitely want to come come out of BU tomorrow with two points. So we just got to focus and play every one shift at a time, every period, when it, when it, each period. When you guys were taking it on the chin, especially against Wisconsin, uh, um, was there, did you ever feel that there'd be that light at the end of the tunnel where now you've got a share of uh, first place in Hockey East? Yeah, definitely. We, we, our first uh, month of the schedule was tough, but we, we worked through it, got spanked a couple of times, but now we're we're slowly playing the, playing the way that we can play. And if we do that, we can put six minutes together. We should keep going. Then, then you may have asked uh, or answered this already, but uh, can you walk through the, the power play goal that you got in the second period? Uh, it was uh, five on three. Hopped up, we got, got out there for the five on three, and uh, Campanelli and Blake were doing well moving the puck around, and just found me, found me on the side, and uh, just great, great playing, passing by uh, the, the defense and everyone else. Was that you that, like, about ten, ten seconds before that he made yeah. the diving yeah. save, save across? Okay. Yeah. Was, yeah. And then got it back and made, made great plays over the had to feel a little bit, uh, you know, stunned when he went and uh, stole one away from you on that one. Yeah, it was definitely. nice to go and, and put it away 10 seconds later. Yeah, it definitely feels good, especially on the power play, which we finally got. We didn't get many power plays last weekend, so it was good to get some this week and put it back.